everyone, this is Missy, and today I'm going to show you how to create an invoice. So the first thing you'll do is just go to the job on the calendar and click on it. And then go to your Related Invoices tab and choose New Invoice. What that does is automatically fill in the job information so that you don't have to do that. You know it's right every time. You'll go right up here and put in a few letters of the attorney's name that you're going to bill and it'll generate a list so you can choose the one you need. Double click on it and it'll fill in the attorney's name and firm information for you. The next thing down here is automatically going to have a list of your rate sheet that, um, that's set up by your agency. So all you'll do is go to the lines that apply and put in the quantity. So if you had, for instance, five hour appearance fee and maybe 320 or so pages of an original in one, you can go ahead and put that there. And then scroll down and just find whatever else applies. Maybe you have some color copies or expedited rates, whatever is on your rate sheet uh, that's provided to you. Don't forget to hit update. That's just your save button. Okay, so now just scroll down through your items, make fairly confident that you've entered everything you need. And if you're sure that you have and you don't want to see all this extra stuff, just hit the delete items with no quantity and say yes. It can't be undone, so be fairly certain that you've got everything entered you want to. And then that'll get rid of all the extra stuff so you can see exactly what you've charged for. All right, you can go into each one of these line items and change the wording completely if you want to. You can add the witness's name, um, change whatever you need to, take out the per hour if you don't want that to show, and see, the, all this will depend on what your agency has set up for you. All right, now, over here on the right is where all the rates are. If you're a reporter, you're not seeing the rates. Um, that's for administration only. You'll only see the, the description area. On this mileage column where it says no and yes, yes means that you're paying 100% of that line item to the reporter. This would normally be for things like hotel reimbursements or uh, mileage expenses, that type of thing. This particular one happens to be administration fees. But anything with a yes on that line means that the reporter is getting 100% of that and not their normal commission rate. Okay, so let's say you've done all of that and now all of a sudden you remember you forgot something completely and you just need to add another item. So all you have to do is click on that button right there that says add item. Uh, you can put your cursor in any of those boxes. It'll add it wherever you want. And for this instance, let's just say we had one postage and handling that we forgot. And then if you're an uh, administrator, you can go ahead and put the rate in right here if you want. If not, just make a note to your agency. If you're a reporter, just make a note to the agency how much to put. You can put it right after those words so that they can see it. Okay, so there's all the rates over there. You will not see those as a reporter. All right. Another thing is, um, of course, if you needed to delete an item, same applies. Just hit the delete item button. You can also follow these grid keyboard shortcuts over here if you need to move things up and down. So if, for instance, you wanted your appearance fee to be on the very bottom, then you just put your cursor up there, follow the control down arrow, and it'll move it all the way to the bottom or wherever you want it. So you can make it uh, in any order you like. Okay, the next thing is, for instance, if you had multiple witnesses and you had several fees per witness, just for organizational purposes, you can add a subheader line. This is a line that has no rates associated with it. It's a little bit grayed out and it, it's just totally for organizational. So uh, put that line in, move it wherever you want it. I moved it to the top and you could say witness A or whatever the witness's name is. And then uh, over here on the left, any number in the quantity will make it print. We just need a number over there so that it will print that line. It's not going to have the number next to it, just the line. Um, so say all these charges went with witness A, and now we wanted to add another subheader line for witness B and include his charges or hers. Add subheader, put a number over there just so it'll print, and put witness B, or whatever their name is, and then continue to add items, whatever you need to, for the charges for that other witness. 
I'm just going to put an original in one right here. Okay, an important thing for the administrators to know is this extension column over here is the amount that's being charged to the attorney. That has nothing to do with the reporter. That's just the amount being charged to the attorney. The middle one is the reporter rate that the commission is based upon. So you had five hours at $100 an hour in a 70-30 split. It's based on that rate. Okay, up here on the top where it says unapproved, that tells the system that you are in draft mode, um, which also makes it not appear in several places on reports and things that administrators need. So um, if you're working on it and it's going to be defaulted to unapproved, if it's ready to go, you can hit approved, pending, if you're waiting to hear from someone, incomplete, or, you know, just whatever status it's in, you can put it in. Just know that until it's approved, it's basically considered in draft mode. Okay, I made a couple of tiny changes just for example purposes, but when you're ready, you can just hit the print button and that'll give you a little preview. It'll have your logo up here, your law firm, invoice number and date, all of your job info right here. And then if you scroll down, you'll be able to see all of the breakdown of uh, the charges that you made. All right, and you can amend some of these things if you don't want the extension to show or the quantity to show your administrator uh, if you're an administrator, you can change those things. So let's start first of all by just saying that we like it like it is. Uh, you can email it or print it. I'm going to click email and anybody that has to do with this particular job that has an email address in the system is going to pop up here for quick reference. All you have to do is put a little check mark next to it, send it to the assistants, the firm, the accounting department, uh, agency, you, you know, your reporter, whatever you want. In this empty box marked other, you can put anybody's email address, just separate them all by commas. And down in the box, you can use the default message that's already there, or you can type in whatever you want. Thank you very much for your business or blah, blah. You can also attach documents here if you need to. And then uh, basically just press send. I'm going to cancel out of it right now so we can go back and make some changes. Takes you right back to the invoice that you were on. Let's hit cancel. Any changes that you'd like to make can be done right here on the options tab. You can hide your rate, hide your quantity, whatever you decide right here in this area, right here. And then just remember to hit update. Over here on the billing options, if you have an alternate address already listed on the attorneys tab, it will automatically pop up for you here. Um, that's done actually by initially putting it on the client tab on the attorney's name. You can scroll up there and look at the client, choose the attorney, and then scroll down to the bottom right and it'll show you some alternate a bit, a business address there. It's going to pop up automatically for you when you get ready to create an invoice. If you need to change it, you know, you can, you can go in here and delete this and change it to whatever you want to. All right, and on the correspondence tab, I went ahead and printed and emailed an invoice so you could see that it shows up here on your details. It'll tell you who it came from, what the message said, and what IP address and time was on that email. And then related invoices shows you any invoices and job uh, dates that were done in the past on this particular case style. So the date of the job, any invoice, they're all hyperlinked. So just click on it and it will take you directly to either the invoice or the job, whichever one you've clicked on. Okay, another tab you'll see is points. And for now, if you'll just ignore that, not a lot of people are using it and we're considering getting rid of it altogether. Payments tab was covered under a separate video entitled um, how to post payments and make deposits and that type of thing for administrators. And there's a couple of ways to invoice your opposing counsel or other attorneys on this same job. This is the invoice you just did um, to your scheduling attorney. Don't use the delete items with no quantity if you know you're going to uh, charge an opposing counsel. That'll leave all your items here so you have many, you know, you know, all the things to choose from. Okay, do it just like the first one. Go back to the date of the calendar, click on the job, then click on the related invoices and new invoice tab, just like you did for the first one. Except now go ahead and fill in your opposing counsel's name here and go ahead and make your appropriate charges below. You'll see that your job info is already filled in for you. Go ahead and choose these. 
and hit Save or Update. Another option is to duplicate an invoice. So say this is your original scheduling attorney. You just hit Duplicate and that will bring you up a new screen with the same charges as before. And Just go ahead and put in your opposing counsel uh, name here for the second invoice. Choose that and it will fill in. You still have the same job information and all, but what you'll see is that all the charges were the same. So you need to go in here and change these. Change it from an 0-1 to whatever it might be now, a copy rate. Scroll on down and make any other changes that are necessary. And then just don't forget to hit update. And this will make you a new invoice to the opposing counsel. And one last reminder to make sure that it's in approved status so that it's final.